Okay, it's Mandalore from Mighty Wallets again. We're going to do a roster review of JKR Obaka. Uh, I will tell you at the outset that I happen to know that this guy is 13 months old. Uh, and he's already got Darth, Revan, and Malak G13. He is 3.196, basically 3.2. Someone is clearly paying attention when I say whale well, harder. Uh, the only thing, the only downside would be he will be behind on Zetas. Not really anything he can do about that except what he's doing is taking top 10 in fleet. So here we go. Let's take a look. Let's see what a 13-month-old Kraken in the making is. Uh, it can do or has been doing so looking at his speed he's got those right darth revan first okay let's take a look at these 15 1 317 143 that's not bad considering you're 13 months old and oh a nice 26 that's a beaut yeah very nice yeah considering you're 13 months old and you're going to be that behind both in Zetas and mod farming over the weeks and months and years in some cases. That's pretty solid, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Bastila, I'd like to get her a little faster, but that's pretty damn good too. 21, 21, 21, 22, 19. All right. We're talking. Now we're talking. Looks good. Very, very good. Malik. Okay, you got 118. You got speed. I would switch that to tenacity. I really like a tanky, tenacious Malak. Some people like a fast, tenacious Malak. Some people just like a fast Malak. Um, that's fine. I just feel like because you... Although he's not super fast. Hmm. Yeah, I would, I would say because he's 291, he's not super fast. Maybe you might be better off with the tanky, tenacious one. Um, and maybe repurposing a couple of those better speed mods because you're so behind in speed mods. I know you're farming them, but uh, that's that's my two cents on that. BBA, JKR, let's take a look. Good speed. Take a look at the JKR. A little on the slower side, but again, you're behind on the speed mods. So let's see. Okay, got a couple of good ones here. Yeah, all right, and let's see who is next. Oh, um, ba -ba 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 -da. Take a look at that HK. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. I like that. Holy shit. That's a good one. Love those double offense mods. Someone's been paying attention. Very good. Very well done. Oh, another double offense. Very nice. Let's see. Take a look. Okay, so your Asajj needs some work. Slice it. No speed on that one, so she's probably pretty slow. Yeah, pretty slow. All right, well, you can't do everything. You've wailed pretty hard. You can't do everything. So I would definitely try and bump her up. Um... Night Sister G13s are pretty popular right about now, right behind Grievous. Uh, I see you only have one Zeta on the Grievous. Yeah, that's going to be your bottleneck. Well, those two things, Zetas and mods. Mods, you could theoretically buy your way to the top, but Zetas, it ain't going to happen. Oh, good, you didn't. All right, 46. A little slow. Good damage, but a little slow. Okay. Take a look at the J-Ray. Slice it. Oh, especially it's a double offense. Slice it, slice it. All right. I'm okay with that setup. Obviously, I'd like to 6E that. Good full tenacity on your Bosk. I would want him faster unless you exclusively put him behind Django. Even still, I'd want him faster. Right, you got the right idea here with GG. Would definitely try and slice or, or find some yeah I definitely try and find some better mods I'm, I'm not really keen on six eating mods that don't have speed secondaries uh, 
the double offense ones, I guess you could certainly make the argument for. I'm still just not a fan. Uh, let's see. CLS offense. That's fine. Okay. Again, you're hurting for speed mods, so uh, it's a nine speed. Oh, okay. I know six E's are important, but let's be a little bit more discerning. Uh, that looks good. Yeah, Chewy doesn't need to be fast. Ooh, yeah, slice that one. That could be a beauty. That could be, a, if it were my luck, though, it would slice defense two more times. But that could be a very, very good one. Uh, B2, you got the G13 Zeta. Oh, yeah, tenacity and potency. Someone's been paying attention. Someone's clearly a subscriber. Uh, or you're just a genius. Maybe I should give you a little bit more credit than just following my suggestions. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Your Jolie is missing a mod. Might want to take care of that. Scion. Okay. I would get a defense, some sort of a tanky mod on that. Uh, otherwise, it looks good. Han, got the right idea there. Might want to 6E some of that to speed up your Falcon. Maybe add a little bit more offense on there. Crit chance is fine. Doesn't really need speed, so that's fine. B1, switch to speed mods. Speed mods. Speed mods. And, and more speed mods. I know that's easier said than done for someone like you who's so new, but speed mods. You got the right idea with the 3PO. I'd like him a little faster. Potency is great. That is excellent, but yeah, would like him a little faster. He gets a bonus from the unique, but still. Basila with offense. Yeah, I know she hits like a wet noodle, but I don't know that modding her for offense is going to make the difference. So, yeah. Uh, if anything, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but speed mod so she gets that uh, assist and buff move up more often. Boba, some people like the damage set, that's fine. I prefer speed to get him going. Thrawn, you're throwing a s slow, obviously harping on the same thing. Not much you can do about that besides wailing harder, which you've proven you can do, so maybe I will keep harping on it. Okay, GK, no, most no speed. Almost no speed. Great hit points, but almost no speed. I would like to see him with some speed. He doesn't need speed mods, per se, but I would like to see him a little bit faster. Newt, clearly a work in progress. Okay, let's see. No Zetas on Zal, Django, Vader, Yoda. That's where it's going to be tough for you. You need to absolutely... I need to see more tenacity on Zalbar, by the way full tenacity you need to make sure that you are winning you got the right idea with zombie there you need to make sure that you are winning every territory war that you partake in uh i'm not knocking your guild i don't know how your guild performs in territory wars you need to position yourself to make sure you win every single territory war so you can at least attempt to catch up on zetas because like Yoda Zeta important, Zalbar Zeta important. Uh, okay, no speed. Get rid of even that 23 speed. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Um, mission, same thing. Zeta. I know it's like a tertiary tune or team now, uh, but in your bracket, I think that Old Republic and Scoundrels are really good. Enfys Nest. Got the right idea, full tenacity, very good. Okay, no Zetas on crew, that hurts my soul, even though... No, you know what, yeah, your GP level, having a Zeta crew is actually pretty important. Wampa, oh, okay, you're the only person I'm going to allow to get away with having no Zetas on Wampa. But he does need mods. He definitely needs mods. Okay, take a look at the JKA. That's fine. Crit damage and crit chance. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to take a look at. Yep, there we go. 
Okay, so you have Padme, you haven't touched her. That's good. You don't want to fluff up your GP, even though they've changed the matchmaking. Um, artificial GP is, <laughs> even from a moral standpoint, Dooku, no mods, shudder. Geo, sun fact, no mods, no mods, no mods. Papa's not even leveled and neither is Brood Alpha. Yeah, I would definitely try to get going on your Seppies if you're in a guild that is participating in the Geonosis TB. Uh, obviously, I harped on mods a good bit. You, you know what you have to do on that. But seriously, the Zetas, you need to position yourself in a guild where you can try and make up some ground uh, on those Zetas. Definitely excellent roster for a 13 month old thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe and share and don't forget to whale harder